is my pleasure to be in your midst today and be part of this great family. I want to start by thanking Almighty Allah and the Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas PhD, the entire leadership of the House of, of the House of Representatives and my esteemed colleagues for finding me worthy to be appointed as the chairman of this great committee. I want to commend the tenacity, zeal, and dedication of our late chairman, Honorable Okene Abubakar Adams, and my able deputy, Honorable Jajere Buba Muhammad, for appointing, for piloting the committee successfully in the last one year. There is no doubt that we have an enormous task ahead of us. Honorable colleagues, the task of repositioning this committee for optimum performance is a feat we must accomplish. I therefore solicit your cooperation, dedication, and time so that we can jointly forge ahead and advance the cause of sports in Nigeria to an enviable status. The committee's work plan is before you for consideration and input. However, it is opposite to note that sports is a veritable instrument of reducing crime and unemployment if optimally pursued. It generates being foreign exchange to countries all over the world. Honorable colleagues, it is on record that out of over 40 federations we have in Nigeria, only less than 20 are functioning. And out of the 20, only five are fully funded. The committee will engage the appropriate authorities and will thoroughly and painstakingly look into all the challenges contending with all the sports federation and a view of overcoming them to the betterment of our vibrant and articulated youths and Nigerians at large. Honorable colleagues, the issue of decaying sport infrastructure across the country, especially our national stadia, should be urgently looked into and addressed through adequate budgetary allocation. It is on record that during the 2024 20, Paris Olympic, Nigeria could not win a single medal. And this sparked a widespread displeasure from well-meaning citizens of this country. This and many are embedded issues surrounding and affecting sports in Nigeria. All will be addressed passionately and with all sincerity of purpose. There is need for timely and adequate preparation for the forthcoming Olympics, for the forthcoming Olympic schedules that will take place in Los Angeles in 2028 in order to avoid the dismal performance of the Paris Olympic. The committee envisages sustainable development plan detailing grassroots programs, training facilities, comprehensive medical report system, strategic players rotation designed to promote football development and other sporting activities across the nation through the Federal Ministry of Sports Development. The committee expects Nigerian Football Federation to be proactive to sort out the problems with the Belen Football Administration across the board. It is the hope of the committee that the Super Eagle will qualify for the Africa Cup of Nations slated for Morocco in 2025. It is also the opinion of the committee that the National Institute of Sports should be should brace up and provide the prerequisite manpower training needed to make the nation excel in sports. The committee will ensure that the agencies under its purview perform their statutory mandates to the benefit of the greatest majority of Nigeria by periodic engagement and conduct of oversight. The committee is not only poised to ensure positive improvement in the sports sector timely, but also put in place mechanisms to realize our goals. Honorable colleagues, in conclusion, the committee wishes the Nigerian Super Eagle success in the following and the forthcoming matches against Libya tomorrow, Friday, in Uyo, Akwa Ibom State and the return march that will take place in Libya next week on 13th of October. Thank you very much. The committee also was able to 
get some sporting kits uh, from the All Africa Games and the African Cup of Nations and was able to distribute to members of the committee. I think about 98% of members of the committee then uh, were able to get such kits so that they too can be able to involve themselves in extracurricular activities. You know. That has been also an achievement of the committee. Um, the committee also have some bills in process, you know, in partnership with uh, the Federal Ministry of uh, Sports, uh, like the Olympic Trust Fund bill. Well, we expect that bill, will, when passed, will be able to, to solicit uh, a lot of support for Olympic uh, events in the future. And then the, also the Lottery Trust Fund bill, uh, uh, amendment bill, uh, is also in, in, in the process, in, in partnership with the Federal Ministry of uh, Sports, where also that bill is expected to be amended and sports in general should be, should be the sole beneficiary uh, of that Lottery Trust Fund. Uh, by and large, I think these are some of the things or activities that have occurred during the last one year or so. And uh, uh, for the way forward, uh, I will advise that uh, committee members should adhere strictly to our revised plan of work, which will be adopted this afternoon or this evening. And members must be proactive and dedicated to the committee by attending meetings just the way we've started today. I'm sure we'll move the committee forward. And we also ensure that uh, bills that will positively impact, you know, on the development of sports uh, are initiated by this committee. Uh, that will go a long way in, in developing sports in Nigeria.